everyone, and welcome back to the Raw Drog Reviews channel, and today we're taking a look at the Star Wars Black Series boss from the Gaming Greats line. Looking at the front of the box, you get the figure that is included along with the accessories. You also get the Gaming Greats sticker right here on the side. You also get the name of the game the character is from, along with our name down here. And on the side of the box, you get this amazing artwork of boss. And like I mentioned before, by adding more characters from the same line, you can create a mural. So here's Boss, alongside the Imperial Senate Guard. Looking at the back of the box, you get a bigger portrait of the character, the logo of the game the character is from, the description, a number which it falls into the line, and a bunch of little warnings. Here's the side of the box, the bottom, and the top. So I'll go ahead and unbox him, and we can see what's inside. Here he is, now we got the plastic. So here he is out of the box, and looking up close, he looks really cool. And I really like the markings that go throughout his armor, and the paint job, it looks very nice. So I'll go ahead and review from top to bottom. Look at the helmet, it looks very cool. He has this blue, sort of like metallic um, color for the visor, and he has this orange stripe running down the middle of his helmet. And he has some nice colors going throughout the helmet as well, from these grays and this white. It looks very cool. The Republic Commando helmet has been one of my favorites. It's very unique, and you don't really see it often, so it's really cool to see it in figure form. Going over articulation, he does have a joint here at the neck as well as the head, so you get plenty of movement as you can see. So here's side to side, all the way back, and all the way forward. Looking at the torso, it looks very cool. He has some orange markings right here in the front of the white chest plate. And it continues in the back. And you can find the peg for his backpack. I also like how there's some scratches and some wear and tear to the paint job. As well as the chest plate. It looks really cool. And as far as articulation, he has a ball joint here at the waist. So here's side to side, all the way back, and all the way forward. Look at the arms. The arm does stick out about there. It goes all the way around, as you can see. And his elbow goes up about there. He has a swivel at the elbow and his articulation at the wrist and at the hand. So here's all the way down, all the way up, and there's the swivel. The other side as well. Arm sticks out about there. Goes all the way around. His elbow goes up about there. He has a swivel at the elbow, and he has articulation at the wrist and at the hand. So here's all the way down, all the way up, and there's the swivel. Looking at the waist, he has this marking right here, like some battle damage. And then here he has some scratches in the back. And looking at the legs, they do stick out into a split position. They do go out into a sitting position, and they go back about there. He does have a swivel on both of his thighs. And look at the knees, they do go back about there into a kneeling position. And again, he does have some more blast marks that go around the armor and some scratch marks as well. And looking at the feet, they do point down about there. They do point up about there. And he does have rock wrinkles, so he has some cool action poses. Look at the accessories, he goes with a backpack. Looking at the backpack, it looks very cool. It has some orange color in the top, it has this silver on the bottom, and in the back, you can find the peg. To put on the backpack, all you want to do is just match up the peg right here, push firmly against it, and it's very snug, and it looks really cool. And finally, it was a blaster rifle. Looking at the blaster rifle, it looks very cool, as you can see. It was in a solid black color. It has some nice detail going throughout it. To put on the blast rifle, all you want to do is just slide in the grip, turn to the trigger finger just like that, and you can put the hand in front of it to give it some support, and it looks really cool. So as an overview of the figure, by far, this has to be one of my favorite clones from this lineup. I've always been a fan of the Republic Commando, even the game. It was one of my favorite games growing up. And having the leader of Delta Squad in my collection is so amazing. 
Visually, the figure looks amazing. Everything about it is spot on from the game, and even the accessories, they work out so well. So yeah, if you're a fan of the game, be sure to collect this figure. It's totally worth it. And something I have to do at the end of these reviews. It's sure you guys how to display my figures, having the box in the back, and the figure in the front. But I am going to leave it here and say if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. And if you like the content that you see here on the channel so far, be sure to subscribe. And be sure to follow me on my Instagram page. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.